Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy S3's design. If you didn't already know, the Samsung Galaxy S3 was recently released the other day. It has a quad-core processor, it's running Android 4.0 with TouchWiz on top, it's got a huge 4.8 inch display. It's a beautiful device in a lot of ways, but the thing that people are talking about the most is the way it looks. Actually, a lot of people think it looks really bad. And I'm gonna reserve my own personal judgments about how it looks and how it feels in the hand for the day that I'm actually holding it, and hopefully I can give you guys a full review, so thumbs up if you wanna see that. But until then, let's go ahead and give you what I've found to be a pretty interesting analysis of why it looks the way it does. You can thank Apple for this one. Let's take a closer look. This is probably an image you've seen on the internet before. On April 18th, 2011, Apple sued Samsung for the Galaxy S1 looking too much like their iPhone. And this is what they sued Samsung for copying, word for word. A rectangular product shape with all four corners uniformly rounded. The front surface of the product being dominated by a screen with black borders. As to the iPhone and iPod Touch products, substantial black borders above and below the screen having roughly equal width, and narrower black borders on either side of the screen having roughly equal width a display of a grid of colorful icons with uniformly rounded corners, and a bottom row of square icons set from the other icons that do not change as the pages of the interface are viewed. So let's break these down one by one. So now it's 2012 and the Samsung Galaxy S3 has been revealed, and you can see the work of Samsung lawyers just crawling all over this device. Starting with the rectangular product shape, you can see that Samsung has clearly made it more of an oval, Definitely not the rectangle that the iPhone is, and the corners aren't even uniformly rounded anymore. The bottom corners are tighter than the top corners of this device. And Apple also mentioned the front being dominated by a screen with black borders. Ha! Not so here. <laughs> no black borders here, just pebble blue and marble white. Nothing to see here. And what's that? Apple also said that their top and bottom borders have equal width. Samsung lawyers said, we got this, and they gave it a chin. What's good? <laughs> and they also mentioned that Apple had colorful square icons. So you may have noticed the newest version of TouchWiz has done away with those icon backgrounds that made them all square and colorful. And that row of square icons that stays persistent at the bottom, that Apple calls a dock, that is gone too in TouchWiz. So boom, there you have it, the Samsung Galaxy S3, designed by lawyers in California. So there you go guys, that's the explanation. Now you know. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you learned something. So yeah, what do you guys think of the new Galaxy S3 design? Personally, like I said at the beginning, I kind of want to wait till I get my hands on the device before I judge it. So hopefully when we have that full review, I'll be able to tell you guys exactly how it looks and feels in the hand. Uh, but yeah, that other company, you know, make sure you share this video so people actually know what to be complaining about. Maybe you don't want to complain to Samsung as much as you want to complain to that other company. I mean, rectangular devices, really? Either way, like I said, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you like the rest of my videos or other videos in this series, let me know and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.